Hey man, your boy Reese checking it live for Radio One Magic 1075 975 Live at Geek Week. You about to get an inside scoop on all the shows that are dropping on Netflix. New seasons, new movies, and it's a bunch of horror stuff too. Plus, they got a special secret, and I'm talking about WWE. Y'all stay tuned for all the celebrities, all the guests, and all the insight. We live, baby. Geek Week 2024. Because you know, Raw's coming to Netflix. Yeah. If you two had to go in the ring <gasps> with two legendary wrestlers, who would you want it to be? Yeah, I gotta, gotta go. I, I mean, I think I gotta go with. <laughs> 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 you I like it. I like yeah. it. I like it. I didn't know you liked John Cena like that. It's really <laughs> funny. Um, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of fun to take on The Rock. Okay. That'd be kind of cool. Or, no, no. or uh, Stone Cold. Stone Cold would be cool. Dude, I would just love to do the dude who does the announcements. Bro. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Vince. Uh, <laughs> no, what's his name? I don't know, man. But I know. I know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I look, I know. It'll be epic. Who do you I was hoping. Yeah. See, I like. Um, I grew up an old school wrestler. Okay. okay. So I would go Macho Man. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta get dig deep. What about Stone Cold, brother? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, Stone Cold, Steve Austin. <laughs> One beer. That's right. Two beers. Three beers. <laughs> And another beer. <laughs> I like it, man. I would love to see that. I would pay to see that, yeah, man. That'd be safe. Yeah, but y'all are killing it, man. Keep Thank doing you, what you're doing. I love the show. I love the nostalgia of the show. Y'all are really doing it. That's why I had to rock my, you know. Dude, that's it. You, you got the chain on, bro? Yeah, bro. You that's know what I'm saying? Cool. We all way in it. I love it. Appreciate Thanks, y'all. You be good with you, man. No doubt. Therese. Yeah, nice to meet you. Right, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. So it looks like y'all's chemistry just goes from off the screen and then on the screen and back off the screen. I love it, man. I got real quick questions, fellas. I'm not going to hold y'all. So listen, I know those sets are amazing on Avatar. What is your favorite place to shoot? Mm. Um, so the first season we shot a lot on a volume stage, actually. Uh -huh. um, my favorite place for season one was probably Omashu, okay. just because we had the most set dressing. We got to like make cities and all these like little trinkets and knickknacks that may or may not be at my house. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> And so I really like that, but this season we're getting to shoot a lot more on location yeah. and like build out the sets. So I'm like really it. excited for some of the sets we're gonna get to experience in season two. All right, what about you? I like Zuko's bedroom the most. That's why I felt the most <laughs> okay. Zuko. Because okay. I think as a character, that's when all of his masks were down and he right. being his true self. Right. Was there like a special like moment in that room, right? Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, he's right. He's right. He's, he's, yeah. You want to do a line reading of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to do a line reading. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to need both hands. Right. He ran. There we go. That's it. There you go. He got it. I like it. I love it, man. Well, you guys are killing it. You know what I'm saying? My last question is, you know, Halloween is coming up, right? Uh-oh. So I'm not going to ask you who you would be. I'm okay. going to ask you if you can have a pet from the Avatar universe yeah. for Halloween, who okay. would it be? Like, you are the pet. Yeah, you are okay, the pet. Okay, okay, okay. That's so easy for me. Okay. I'm Oppa 100%. <laughs> Even, here, get this. It can be a group costume, okay. right? Like There's six four or people, five right? of us <laughs> as Oppa together. I, like I call it. the face, Ooh. though. Yeah, I nobody get the wants front. to be in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would you put in the back of Oppa? Um, I won't want to yeah. name any names. Gordon, Gordon, probably. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. What about you? Um... I really like King Boomy's pet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, you remember that? Oh, yeah. uh, scary, Blopsy. Right? Yeah. Yes. Blopsy. Yes. That's right. That's okay. right. Yeah, I will go Abba too because I can fly to get more candy. No, that's good. It is, right. That's good. I right, yeah. appreciate it, fellas, man. You guys are killing it. Yeah. Yeah. Keep doing it. I got that. At least we got the, the fan. Thank you. I got fan by a movie star. I've made it. I've officially made it. Oh, my goodness. We'll get we'll get Zack Snyder over here. Right. All right, we live at Geek Week, uh, and I have very simple, easy questions. How do you guys unwind from such intense scenes? Like, you know what I mean? I feel like you, I would hate you in real life. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. I, I mean, I mean, it was harder for her, I think, to un unhate me. Uh, uh, I, would say, I would say baths and alcohol. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Two Sex words, no John Jameson. There we uh, go. Yeah. <laughs> Right. It doesn't. It's five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Right. We, 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 we shot this movie in Sofia, Bulgaria, and so we were kind of in a very uh, unknown place. And I, I feel like Kelsey and I and the crew and the director has really kind of made a little bubble within ourselves. And kind of, we, we hung out together and we like we would decompress after. Well, 
yeah. the days were long and hard, but like the weekends we would find yeah. some time. The wander around yeah. Sofia. That's yeah. Really I mean, at least yeah. it's a great location, it sounds like. It was very it was interesting beautiful. to be there. Yeah. yeah. And they have these amazing kind of protected forests because a lot of the movie takes place sort of in the right. woods. It's like every Halloween film, right? Exactly. Every, every horror movies. movie. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> so we were like wandering around these like old Bulgarian forests most of the day. That's yeah. pretty cool. Pretty cool. So when you are practicing for this role, do you just have to be still in the bed for a long time? Just like that. <laughs> And I wrap myself. Oh, no, um, no. It was it, that. That was really the, the challenging part of it. And the directors, we actually spoke to one of their childhood friends as an anesthesiologist. So we spoke to her about um, kind of its real life counterpart and what those effects would look like. Um, but yeah, that was the, the, the fun of it. Diving deep into this character, huh? Oh, you know. Okay. Being well, also, a cool thing about the way they filmed it is the the, the camera sort of. It's going to be a, a second viewing thing where the camera kind of follows Kelsey's movements. And our DP, Zach Cooperstein, he would, he would like be really meticulous about, like, oh, she can't move, then the camera is locked off and doesn't move at all. Yeah. And when she gets a little more movement, the camera moves a little more. So it's like a cool little Easter egg in there. Let's see. Yeah, well, that's like me in the there. morning since I turned 40. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I'm almost there, man. Hey, man, appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I can't wait to see the movie. It's coming out right on time. So, yeah. Awesome, thank you. Reese here with Zack Snyder, the man who saved DC. I, I'm going to keep saying it <laughs> until the fine. wheels fall off. Rebel Moon, man, intense, right? Sure. How do you unwind from shooting something like that? It, well, I've had the summer off. i uh, been writing all summer, and it's been great. Spending a lot of time with the family. But now I'm back, like, writing, like, every day. Okay. And uh, it's great, but we're getting new projects together, so it's fun. But we had a great, we had a great time, and I... You know, really um, excited about the response that Rebel Moon got from the fans and everything, so that was really fun. That's what's up, man. Now, tell me about Twilight of the Gods. I got to view it last night. Oh, yeah. Amazing adult animation. I love it. Tell me, what character from Twilight of the Gods survives a run, a horror Halloween run versus Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers, and all the big ones? Oh, nice. Well, our main character, Sigrid, she doesn't. She, she doesn't fuck around. Sorry, oh, I don't know if I should no, say she that. She doesn't at all. <laughs> She's so like. I think you'd be, you be, gotta be careful when you go against her because she will take. You see, in the first five minutes, she's like, lopping everybody's head off. Yeah, it's legit. There we go. Secret. Fuck around and find out. Secret. Yeah. Be careful. As you did it. So it's up to you. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Thank cheers. you, man. Man, right. how you doing? I'm good, man. Now listen. When I saw the trailer for this film, I, for this show, I was like, oh, hold on. I don't know if I would do that in real life. Okay. Would you guys get hooked up to the machine in real life? Hell no. No, sir. <laughs> uh -uh. Just watch the movie and you'll know why, right, man. Right, right, right. Dude, no way. Are you kidding me? You're going to swap bodies with somebody? <laughs> right. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> right. No way. But if you could swap bodies with one person, anybody, who would it be? Either you two. Your height starts with the number six. I'm good with that, bro. <laughs> Just put me over 5A for a day. I'm happy, all right? That's it. Hey, man, I don't have the talent that you have. So nah, I hey. I'll take it. Give me I'll your shoe, bro. Let this me get the sweet. slip on. I like on. what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, this is nice. Nice. <laughs> cool, man. So, listen, if you could just have a, any superpower in the world, right, what superpower would it be? But you have to use it on a first date. On a first date? Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, I, I think I'd, I would want to control gravity. Okay. Because I've thought a lot about this. Because then you'd be able to, like, control your own gravitational field, and you could fly. You could also move stuff. Okay. Uh, and you could change time. You'd be able to control space and time. If you, could you have travel. thought about this. You know yeah, I was just going to say flying, but that's the advanced Dude, answer, you bro. Fly. Yeah, that's fly. pretty good. Flying, flying on good. a first date, too. That is, because like, if you like her, you can take her on a trip. A if you hate right. it, you can be out that's of there. That's right, fast, bro. Too. That's true. You know what mine will be? <laughs> Automatically unwrinkled clothes, man. Really? I yes. feel like you're missing out on a huge opportunity here. Maybe. You could have gravity. anything you want. You know, they if make you, iron. you know how much you know, time, shit, you, know how much time you save by not having to iron every day? <laughs> if you just wake up and just poof, your clothes are perfect. I don't believe you, bro. It's the best superpower ever. What would you really do? 
Probably mind read. Yeah. Mind yeah, read. Yeah. Okay, mind now read. we're talking. That's, that's it. Mind that's read. way better, bro. And then I will find out how to unwrinkle clothes. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Someone <laughs> out there we has to the see. We can handle all that stuff down the road. <laughs> right, man. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. I can't I wait to see the film. This is going to be amazing. You, you guys are great too. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, bro. Appreciate Thanks. It. Thanks. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm great now. I mean, you guys won best dress. So yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Put me to shame. I'm like, no. I'm like to be. Next to this gorgeous oh, dress, wow. I'm like, shoot. <laughs> now, let's talk about this because I watched the trailer and I was like, I don't know if I would do that. Would you guys do that in real life? Would you get hooked up to the machine and start body swapping? I don't know. I, I, it's, I always err on the set of caution, so it's more of a no, but maybe I'd watch other people do it and then maybe do it. Play it safe, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, part of me wants to do it. <laughs> which got an might adventure be crazy, over here, right? But part of me wants to do it. I just really would not want to get stuck. I think that's the thing. It's like, I'd want to know. I really would want to know, but. Right. There is a risk there. It is a risk, but if it, like we had a safe word, we could do it, right? Yeah, if I if I knew that it was going to be safe, 100% I would do it. Oh, there yeah. We go. yeah. Same. So if you could switch with anybody of all time, who would it be? I feel like I want to change my answer. I'm going to change it. We've been, yeah. I kept saying like a like a huge like pop star or something, like a Rihanna or a Beyonce, because to get out on stage in front of like thousands of people, like how people would that screaming, feel? Right? Like what would that be? Like you never get to experience anything like that? But I don't know, maybe I would want to... You know what? I want to be Einstein. Okay. Okay. Because I'd want to know, like, what's going on in his... Wait, would I get... Would I understand what was going on in his head? No, because it's like a hard drive. I know. You go, you go. I don't know. I've been saying the same answer. It's usually like somebody... I, I would switch places with my husband in case we got stuck. Okay. So it'd be like, okay, well, at least we can still have each other in right. familiar territory. Um, the other thing I said was an astronaut. Okay. But not one that got stuck in space. Yeah, one, one that, that comes, back, right? comes back, right? Comes back. I understand. Um, or maybe... I, I, yeah, I think that would be... Or maybe like an Olympian. Okay. To feel how strong it feels to be an Olympian. Yeah. I know a lot of things that are happening right now in the world, including here in the U.S. Can you tell everybody, like, what it means to you to be able to have the power to vote and make a difference? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're so lucky to be able to have the ability to use our voices and to be able to have an impact as simple as one vote. Yeah. So it is extremely important to exercise that right and that power that so many people before us yeah. risk, literally risked their lives and died for. Yeah. So I, 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 even if you don't believe it, just know that there are, there are so many people before us that fought for this right to be able to, to vote for the people that will actually fight for us and our rights. So important, can't say it enough. That's it. Get this woman a podium. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it. hard to top that, but I agree. It's, it's, it is, it's a, you're right, and it's power, and it's important. It's so vital to be active in, in policy and what you believe in, what is important, because it affects people in their real lives. It affects people's safety. It affects people's ability to live freely, happily, safely, it is so important. And and not just on like, you know, the federal level, at the local level, at the state level, I think we sometimes forget that that's also where really big change happens. And and making sure the people that, that reflect you and what is important to you are there to, to be that voice. I mean, it is powerful, it's a right, I think it's really important. Absolutely. Well, after you guys win all your Academy Awards, you got my vote. Go ahead and run for something. <laughs> Thank you. This is Radio 1. All right, man, listen, you guys, it's no, it's no like, secret. You guys have made a cultural impact, right? You gave a lot of kids that listen to our stations the, the like, hope that I can live the dream, too, right? But I want to ask you guys about making an impact and how important is it for you guys to be able to have the right to vote? And what would you tell people watching this right now why they should get out and vote? Yeah, voting is obviously very, very important. I mean, um, we can all talk about the history of people not having the opportunity or the chance to have their voices heard. And all the people that came before us having to fight, having to give their lives for us to be in this position um, makes us take it that much more seriously. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an honor to be able to get to vote, to be able to have your voice heard because every voice matters. You know what I mean? Sometimes you might feel like, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to be able to make a difference, but if everybody had that mentality, then... 
You know what I mean? Like we wouldn't be where we are today. So um, definitely very important. Absolutely. Yeah, I echo the same sentiments. The, the fact that there was a time where uh, those of us who were not treated even as, as a human were not allowed to participate in this process of you know democracy is crazy. And like Hope said, again, we've come a long way. So um, I think just for, for respect for yourself, it's important for you to check things out whatever is important to you, find out what people are going to do, what their ideas are, and then use that information to make your informed choice. For sure, man. Yeah. Back together again. They actually did my first week of contract radio. Y'all were the came in the studio, and we rocked out a Hot 107.9. Now yeah. we're back at it at Geek Week. So I appreciate it, man. You yes, guys sir. are amazing. Keep inspiring the kids. Yeah, Keep doing you, what man. you're doing. Happy 10-year anniversary to yeah, New Day. It much. is.